ITTO has two overarching objectives. The first one is to promote the sustainable management of tropical forests. This will be likely achieved if forest owners are able to earn good income from their forests. For forest owners, sustainable forest management has to be economically viable land use option compared to others. Tropical forests produce many goods, such as timber and non-timber forest products, and perform many services, such as maintaining water quality, absorbing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, and conserving biodiversity. The prospect for sustainable management of tropical forests to become a competitive land use option will be high if goods and services produced by tropical forests have a high economic value. This will uh, certainly encourage owners to manage sustainably their forests. While goods produced by tropical forests have a well-recognized economic value, unfortunately this is not the case yet for the many environmental services pro performed by tropical forests. Therefore, the forum will, first of all, increase the understanding of uh, the environmental services of tropical forests, including their social and cultural importance, showcase the many excellent examples of payment for environmental services, including the pioneer, pioneering work of uh, Costa Rica in this connection, and other good examples done by ITTO and our partners. Then stimulate discussion on the challenges facing payment for environmental services. And then propose action at the local, national, and international levels for the development and effective implementation of mechanisms for the payment of environmental services in support of sustainable forest management in the tropics. The payment of environmental services would substantially increase the economic value of forests. It is also possible to harvest timber with a reduced damage to the surrounding environment and maintain forests in a condition where it can continue to perform environmental services. In some forests, payment of environmental services may become the most important income for forest owners and managers. In order Forests, for instance, uh, timber will continue to be harvested, as I have already mentioned. If this is done sustainably, these forests will continue to deliver uh, environmental services. So, payment for environmental services combined with the benefits generated by goods harvested from forests are certainly the best way forward for forest management and sustainability. We will certainly discuss many options during the forum, but uh, we can think of, uh, for instance, uh, carbon credit, whereby developed countries pay developing countries to conserve the carbon in their forests through sustainable forest management and to increase carbon storage by re reforestation and forest restoration. We can think of uh, payment of, uh, for biodiversity conservation, for instance, by establishing conservation uh, concessions, whereby conservation organizations pay government and private uh, landowners not to clear or degrade their forests. Uh, we can also think of uh, the protection of uh, water catchment areas, whereby communities located in the catchment area are paid not to deforest or degrade their forests in order to maintain the water quality of uh, river streams. Uh, our most recent survey showed that the area of tropical forests under sustainable forest management increased by 50% to the tune of uh, 53 million hectares between 2000 and 2005 and 2010. The total area is still a small percentage of the total uh, tropical forest estate. But this gives give us uh, hope for the future. A greater flow of payment for environmental services I would also greatly in increase the contribution uh, into the tropical forest uh, sustainably managed.